Let's try to fix FPS and stuttering issues in NBA 2K26. I'm gonna try to cover as many different uh, ways and tricks to solve these issues for the game. So first we're gonna start with in-game settings. We can go to features and over here open uh, video settings. Let's go to video settings actually. And the first thing that you can do is of course make sure that you are running in the full screen windowed mode. Unfortunately there is no uh, true full screen option available for this game. Uh, at least uh, we are talking about PC, of course. Uh, but in this case, we can use the full screen window. If you decide to run Windows mode, you might experience some issues sometimes, of course. Besides that, we have the resolution scaling method, which can be used in order to uh, downscale the resolution, which can help you improve the game's performance. Now, in this case, you want to use the corresponding method. So, for example, if you have NVIDIA graphics card, then you want to go for NVIDIA DLSS. If you have AMD GPU, then of course you want to choose AMD FSR and so on and so forth. Besides that, we can change the scaling quality. Of course, the uh, the best way to adjust that, I mean, not the best way to adjust that, I mean to, uh, to get the most out of the game in terms of the performance, you can go for the ultra performance. But of course, um, in order to actually ch know whichever option you need to use, this depends on the... Uh, on your computer for example itself uh, so you probably want to go through these options one by one and see for yourself how the game performs you will see of course the decrease in the quality of the game of the visual side of the game um, but of course this can help you um, improve the performance of the game there is also the uh, sharpness scaling over here uh, which you can also add adjust now in terms of stuttering uh, what you can do is disable the vertical sync. The vSync can be the reason why your game stutters sometimes. So if vertical sync is enabled in these settings, just turn it off and hopefully this will solve your issue. Sometimes uh, you might also see like a dynamic vertical sync or something like that, so you can turn it off as well. Besides that, we have ray tracing, of course. So uh, I assume that uh, if your computer is running pretty, uh, the game is running pretty well on your computer, then you can try to use ray tracing. But if your computer is not that great, it doesn't handle the game well, then of course there is no need to use ray tracing. This is definitely for the high-end PCs most of the time in order to get the most out of uh, graphics. Uh, but if your computer cannot handle it, then of course uh, you probably shouldn't use ray tracing in that case. There is also texture detail level, which can be lowered over here. And uh, we can also see the description that, for example, the medium option is best for 1080p displays, so full HD displays. Of course, if your computer can handle it, then you should be able to choose the highest option available. And uh, these settings can be adjusted uh, step by step, one by one. And you should be able to uh, check the gameplay after each change, ideally, of course in order to see if uh, these uh, changes are sufficient, if they help you with the game's performance. Besides that, we have the overall quality. So if you don't want to go through details of graphic settings, then you can just change uh, the overall quality over here. And uh, in addition to that, we also have advanced quality settings. So these are graphic settings that you can go through one by one in order to manually add adjust some settings. So for example, if you don't care about shadows, then of course we can set shadows to low. Uh, to improve the game uh, performance. Over here on the right side we can also see uh, recommendations for example when it is ideal to use these settings. Some settings can be set to high while some settings can be set to low. It's up to you what you want to compromise on. Alright, so uh, after that we also have uh, shaders that we can build of course. And if you want to do that then of course feel free to do so. You can increase the CPU threads. On the left side you can see how many of them you actually uh, are using. And this will help you pretty much uh, run the game faster, I mean loading the game faster, maybe not performing the game faster specifically, but if the loading time seems to be quite long, then of course uh, you can uh, build shaders over here. And uh, that should be it in terms of video settings. Besides that, you might want to check if you have latest drivers of your GPU. So for example, if you have NVIDIA, go to the NVIDIA app, open the drivers and just update your driver if the update is ready. Usually these updates are available when new games uh, are released uh, to improve the performance of these games. Uh, so you might want to check if there is a new update waiting for you over here.
You also want to make sure that your Windows, for example, is running on the latest update. You want to check for updates. This can be quite crucial as well. So go to Windows Update and check if there is any new update waiting to be installed. In the case of NVIDIA GPU, you can also right click on your desktop and open the NVIDIA control panel. Now over here, we can go to manage 3D settings, choose program settings, and then you might be able to find your game over here on the list of uh, programs to customize. Let's see if I can actually find it. So we are looking for NBA 2K26. And in case it is not added over here, you will need to add it manually. So let me actually do that. So you want to press add over here. And then we can choose NBA 2K26 and then add the game to this list. Now over here we have a bunch of different settings that we can customize. So let's get through them. And the first thing that we want to do is find the power management mode. There we go. So this one over here. And in this case we want to select this option and we want to select that we want to prefer maximum performance over here. Besides that we can go to texture filtering, anisotropic sample, and over here we can turn it on. Then we can also go to texture filtering quality and we can set it to performance or high performance depending on your needs. So let's say we're going to choose performance in this case. And besides that, I believe we should be able to find trilinear optimization, which is now enabled. That's good. Now, after that, we want to go to threaded optimization over here and turn this option on. And then we can also go to virtual reality pre-rendered frames. And we want to set this option to two. There we go. If you have your game on Steam, you can also verify files in order to check if there is anything missing. So you can right click on your game and you should be able to go to properties over here. And we're going to switch to installed files and over here we can verify integrity of game files. You want to select this option in order to check if there is something missing or something that could be fixed. You can also open the task manager and if you right click on the game, you should be able to find the let me actually try to find it let's go to properties sorry not that we actually want to choose the um the go to details option there we go and now in details you want to right click on the game the game should be running in the meantime and over here we have priority which can be set to high and of course if you see this uh, window you want to confirm that you want to change the priority if it's possible of course Another thing that we can do is go back to Steam. This time we're gonna once again right click on the game, but we're gonna go to the browse local files over here. So after right clicking, go to manage and choose browse local files. You should be able to open the folder with the game. You want to click on the path and you want to copy the path. So you might want to right click it and choose copy. Then on your Windows search for graphics settings. And then once you open it, what you need to do is add desktop app over here. And you should be able to paste the um, the path over here to the game and you want to select the game to add it to this list over here. After that you should be able to find your game on this list so we're gonna click on this arrow over here on the right side. And here we have the GPU preference we want to set to high performance. In addition to that here at the top we have advanced graphics settings you want to click over here in order to find hardware accelerated GPU scheduling which should be enabled over here. You can also search for edit power plan in on Windows and once you find it you want to go back to power options and you can choose the performance mode. Now this can be like a high performance, ultra performance or just performance. It doesn't matter, just switch to performance in order to improve the performance of your device. And if you're playing the game on a laptop for example, uh, you probably want to make sure that you, uh, that you are connected to the power. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe.